Hi everybody. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video today on um, just you know how everything everybody's doing, and um, it's been a while since I made a video. To be honest, uh, been really busy on um, the, the parental alienation, uh, uh, or uh, not parental alienation. Well, it is parental alienation, but the, the parental equality for children uh, on my site um, with uh, another group that's a uh, Fathers and Trust in Springfield through uh, Michael Kyle's that's been a uh, pretty interesting um, I want everyone to know that you know if you're if you're a <clears throat> if you're a dad and you're having a tough time you know because you know and I know this happens to either parent you know the mom happens to the mom or and or dad but 90 percent happens to the to the dad so that's why I'm focusing on the fathers because it's not fair um, you know obviously men are stronger but that doesn't mean that children don't need a father because they're stronger. That's that's insane. But you know that's kind of what we insinuate the masculinity, you know, the masculine thing. But those are facts. Those are biological, scientific facts that you know guys have more muscles and are stronger than women. Doesn't mean they're not a you know they're less of a father. I and mean, you should have you know go get a restraining order because he's stronger. But you know, unfortunately, the courts they they favor all this drama and garbage and. Um, you know, just lies, um, which is hurting their child. So what I wanted to get to today is, you know, if you're a mom and you're out there and you're making it really tough for the dad, shame on you because, um, and you're using the courts, which, you know, shame on the courts for getting, you know, this having, you know, toxicity be a normal part of the child's life. And, it, and it's the court's fault because if we didn't have these negative court actions and false allegations as facts, you know, for, you know, I guess, you know, one out of uh, a thousand guys somehow, you know, theoretically hurt hurt a woman in some sort of way. But, you know, there's a million ways a woman hurts a guy, you know, words and, you know, hurting their, you know, through them with their kids, you know. So, <clears throat> you know, shame on the courts. Uh, uh, if you're a mom out there and you're doing this, uh, I would urge you to stop because, you know, reality is... Uh, if you were a parent before, so it, what we're teaching our children is, you know, if you're a parent and you're a father before you got separated, now all of a sudden you're not a great parent. That really is damaging to, to all our children. It really is. Or or the, or the like my case, you know, having, you know, uh, I call garbage therapists uh, and lawyers, which lawyers just want to make money, which should have no bearing in being a parent. I'm sorry, I, I know, you know, it's family law, but the truth of the matter is, the word family means keeping children with their mom and dad or whatever, still co-parenting. Um, so I would suggest that, you know, if you're doing these things to, to uh, I mean, a child knows that you know, now all of a sudden you're not a dad anymore, you're not a good dad, it's creating a lot of toxicity, drama. Um, you know, as, and it's something as simple as, you know, going to visit your, your, your dad and mom's making it very difficult. Yeah, I mean, this is very damaging to children, by the way. And this is, you know, if you're a judge out there and you're watching this or a therapist and, and you're catering to a child's needs, uh, which they're following a narrative somewhere. So that's wrong to begin with. So you should try to want to, I mean, after a child gets, uh, after parents get separated or divorced, it should be the same thing. So, you, a mom should be supporting the father's time, and uh, and uh, and vice versa. It should be you know both ways. So, so that creates a lot of anxiety on a child. Like even in my case, you know, the child now is angry and upset about the situation. Not necessarily the father, but if you're and, and common sense would tell any therapist or or court officials or any judge uh, lawyers that you know if you're living with mom and mom is there's nothing good about to said about the dad of course the child is going to follow that narrative I mean that's what there's it's called conditioning a child to believe that um, this should be common sense um, it should be really simple to figure out uh, but apparently it's not that easy to figure out for you know educated people because you know if, if, if everyone got along and did the Christian thing um, 
courts would make no money other than the criminality. Like family lots, they would barely make any money. So if everybody got along, they wouldn't make any money. That's the whole point. And, and the, I don't even want to get into DCF. So, um, yeah, that's a multi-billion dollar industry. And none of it is made to to help families. It's not. So now you have to fight. And you have three, three, three lawyers against, going against each other. So on, on that aspect, if you're going through a divorce or a separation or whatever, and there's your lawyer, there's her lawyer, let's say, and now there's a JL lawyer, and there's three lawyers there now, and guess what? Every one of them is going to go in the opposite direction. <clears throat> Not one of them is going to go. And, you know, yes, they have a, you know, a lawyer for a child, but let's say, but... You know, that's on, on a very extreme uh, physically abusive situations. But the truth of the matter is, we have three lawyers. All three of them are going to go in a different direction. And not one of them is going to go for the family direction. So meaning, you know, not one of them. This is my hopes for the future of, you know, being a co-parent uh, uh, life coach, so to speak, as in for families and for the courts is uh, you have to, the best interest of the child, I hear this at court all the time, and this is also for if judges, or lawyers, or anyone's hearing this, is the best interest of the child is both parents getting along. So if you're going to force one order for child support, for the, let's say there's allegations of lies, uh, you know, the guy the guy's going to go to anger management class, now he's not going to see his kid for another eight months. This is all disturbing, negative destruction for a child. So I, I and you know, they're going in a, in a direction that that none of it is going to be helping the the child uh, figure out a way to um, to get along with anybody. So in the future, you know, theoretically, the courts are destroying all society as 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 we see it. And, and I'm sure there's going to be there's a lot of women out there that are going to say, yeah, but there's a lot of bad fathers. Yeah, there's a lot of bad mothers. So let's do the demo dem democratic thing, democracy. If, uh, so we're going to base all bad mothers to be bad mothers, even the ones that want to be mothers. No, we wouldn't do that because that, that, would, that would be absurd. But we are doing this for fathers. So I would recommend you know, that a child needs both parents to, to move forward in life. For them to get along. So if we enforce, I, I think we should completely get rid of all of lawyers when, when it comes to parenting time. Completely. And have real mediation. Right now in the Springfield, uh, or the Hamden County Courts, or any courts, Hampshire County Courts, there's no real mediation. It's, it's a joke. It's you walk in there, mom says, nope. I don't want to mediate anything. Go right to the judge. The judge is going to do it's possibly, most likely, his political to follow his narrative of uh, um, women's rights because we're a democratic state. People that are offended by that need to open their eyes and that's that's the reason they follow a narrative. That's why they got appointed, let's say, they were helping a Democrat at that time. And that's how they get in, as their appointed judges. Um, and so are federal. They're all, it's all the same. So they're going to follow the narrative of who brought them in. Um, uh, it's none of it's helping anybody. Uh, I urge anybody out there that if you are, you know, you're having a lot of problems with your ex, you know, it, you shouldn't bear that to the, to the child. It should have nothing to do with the child. You shouldn't talk about anything that that's relevant to other than uh, supporting. I mean, let's, let me give you an example. If you know, it's time for you to go to, to your dad's house. Uh, you know, what what can I do to help? make that process simpler would be the real normal way to do it for a child because now he's going to create anxiety and he's going to think that he doesn't want to go to his dad's house or mom's house because there's anxiety involved but that's not that's not the courts will take that as in we're going to limit the amount of time with the other parent because the child is uncomfortable but we're not going to fix the problem and we're just going to keep damaging we're going to go down the wrong road and damage this child for life on temporary things that should have been fixed but they're not enforced so it's not enforced for anybody to go to any counseling co-parenting to find the right way and have a counselor to to to, um, to uh, make action of you know this is what's going on you know the, 
this is why the child doesn't want to go to their parents house it's be, you know because it's the, it's the co-parenting skills and we're not going to fix them we're just going to keep talking about it but that's the you know that's the underlying that's everything that I don't I don't understand why people are not fighting for this you know we're fighting for everything else at the state house for the stupidest things um, but nobody's going down there for our families to be destroyed because you know it's a game it's a game to the to the courts it's just head games it's um, legal manipulation you know uh, but look you're a father when you walk into the courts you're a father when you leave it doesn't make no difference uh, um, you know if mom lies I, you're not helping your kid um, so I want to say hope everybody out there you know the guys that are struggling you know hang in there I'm gonna try to make videos to help or uh, I personally don't agree with any of uh, um, some of the people that I've talked to, the therapists, you know, they're, they're, they go in a wrong narrative, narrative of not helping anybody. They're not helping a single person, a single child, a single family. They're just making money and then just uh, um, stringing people along. I just wish people would open their eyes to know that you're being strung along. Uh, an example would be if you're going to counseling and the, and the counselor is all about talking about the mom's, how she felt or the guy, how they felt, you know, whatever, that's never going to help. What you need to do is find out reasons of communication of how you're going to address them, how you're going to move forward to help that child uh, into a normal, um, grow up to be in society. And, and that's all you should be talking about. Not like in my case, we talk about the last hour of why, you know, all our concerns of why a child shouldn't go see their dad for no made up, you know, psychotic, made up, made up stuff. It's, it's not real. So, um, we should have real counselors uh, that can know how to make co-parenting a serious, you know, uh, impact of how to uh, to help our children for for our future. So, I think that's I hope that's something that everybody thinks about. You know, that's that's some serious problems right there. So, if you're looking to win to just keep your child away from their dad, you're losing for that child. And it doesn't matter. My point is, if you're a mom out there doing this, it doesn't matter if the judge is a liberal left-wing nutcase that just believes in moms, as in we're 1958, which we're not. Uh, shame on you for for doing that to your child, to allowing that. You know, you should talk to your ex. You know, you should be able to uh, find a way to communicate. Um, so anyways, um, everybody hang out, hang on. You know, do the best you can. I'm sure in time things will work out. Um, and I'll try to make more videos of actual. Uh, I know I said that before, but I'm gonna try to make videos on actually how to how to do transactions of you know how is a normal conversation um, to help co-parenting. You know, drop offs and pickups because we shouldn't have we shouldn't have supervised visitation. That's a complete crock. And it's really damaging to a child's ego for um, for their parents. Like, you know, if, if the mom's being supervised because she had a drug problem, shame on you for doing that. I mean, just shame on you. You should be figuring out a way to keep that, you know. You know, if it's temporary, you know, you don't want to damage a child forever on something that's temporary. And if they clean up, you know. So, um, God bless everybody. Hope you have a good weekend.